fishy? He's like, I want to eat it. Uh, yeah. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Soul Crush. I'm Carmen. Shanna. And we have Kato with us today. And um, this might be a really dumb idea, but we're gonna try to put him on the jet ski today and see what happens. So. It might be a disaster, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Kato. <laughs> Got it, buddy. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> good boy. Sit. There. Boy. Dun, dun, dun. See? He's okay. All right. Let's Kato, you ready? On the road. We'll see how this goes. Oh, boy. And there we were. <laughs> I think he's gonna do great. The real trick will be when we start the engine, what happens? Hi. Hey, ready. <laughs> yeah, it's his first time. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna stay in the river. He's already trying to bail. <laughs> We got off the jet ski um, on the inlet here and we can hear the ocean waves crashing on the other side of the inlet. So we're gonna see if we can find a trail and make our way through and have lunch on the beach on the ocean. having lunch on the ocean. It was gorgeous, but now it's time to catch some fish. Yeah, okay. <laughs> use, use your muscles. 
push harder. I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm not moving at all. <laughs> oh, we moved two centimeters. Good job. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. Carmen's dropping the anchor. We're gonna try fishing right here. Maybe you should just... Oh yeah, there it is. Nice. Oh, it's one of those things that you caught that one day. <gasps> it's just a baby. Oh. What do you think, Kato? What is that? Is that fishy? He's like, I wanna eat it. No, but it does. Oh, it's really in there though. Ooh, it's got teeth too. I feel like there are no fish in this area that we live in that don't have teeth. Let's get a good look at it. There he is. If anybody knows what this is, I think it's a blue grunt, but it's not grunting. It's just got this one blue line right here, and then it's super like maroon reddish color. This is what Carmen caught like her first fish in the inlet so yeah y'all can tell us what this is let us know Bye, all right peeps it's Carmen's turn because I'm not doing so hot <laughs> same thing a little bit bigger Too small to eat? I don't know what it is. I think it's too small to eat anyway. Ooh, its teeth are much bigger. Uh oh. What you think, Kato? He's like, what is that? There we go. Ooh. I had to drop him because otherwise I would have hit that bottom hook. Good job! Air five. <laughs> So as you guys saw, we were not very successful with fishing. The only thing we caught were those two mangrove snappers, which uh, are also called gray snappers, that we now know what they are. Um, but Kato did pretty well. Uh, he stayed on the jet ski and didn't jump off, so that's a win. Um, however, a few days ago, I did redeem myself with mackerel, so check this out. Hey, there you, you go, Shanna. You almost did it. Might do it. Ooh, Can that's a good it. one. Right. Come on, girl. Oh, come on. Bring it up here. Flip it up. Or... Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. It's that about time. <laughs> That's a pretty one. Yay. What That's kind a decent is that? size. Uh, Spanish mackerel. That's what they got yesterday. Look at the teeth on that bad boy. Good job. Yeah. Monster. Just a little guy. Good job. <laughs> hey, it's more what others are catching right now. I don't know. I think I think I might let him live a little longer. That would be nice of you considering. The one I caught is about twice that Jeez. size. I'm trying to put you back in the water. Take me to the river. <laughs> bye bye. What do you think? I think it's smaller, but we can still eat it. Sushi size. There you go. Alright, so this is our catch for the day. We got Carmen got this monster right here. And then that was one of the first ones I caught. And I decided to keep that one and then you guys saw it through the little long way. So. Yesterday when we got back to the house after fishing, um, I kind of had a queasy stomach. So the camera was apparently not rolling when I thought that it was. And I, when I filleted these up, I actually ate a chunk of the mackerel right there on the beach, or right there on the pier, I should say. And it left a not so hot, queasy feeling in my stomach. 
So I did not want to eat fish when we got home last night. So it is the next day. We just got done working out and it is time for lunch. So I want to try the sushi again. Um, it's been in the fridge all day. I want to try the sushi again. However, I don't want to I don't want it to ruin my meal in case I am not a fan again. So we're gonna actually, we got a brand new air fryer. So we're gonna put these in the air fryer. Um, I'm gonna skin the rest of them. We're gonna put them in the air fryer. Uh, we're just gonna throw it in a wrap. So we're just gonna make a fish wrap. But I'm also going to leave the two chunks, well, at least one chunk that I did fillet and took the skin off yesterday. I'm gonna leave that. And I am gonna try sushi again with some soy sauce and wasabi, but Carmen does not agree. She's not having it. She's not eating it, but I seriously want to try it. So I'm going to try it again. I put all of the fish in some coconut milk. So that's just soaking in there. And then we will end up um, coating it in this fish fry. It's a little over the sodium I would like it to be, but that's all we have on hand right now. So that's what we're going to use. Read the directions, got it preheated. Um, it's super easy, you just press the start button and turn it down three minutes. There's a little fish icon right here, so that's where we're gonna put it on. And the breading. Make sure it gets all up in there so that it's nice and crispy. I've never used an air fryer before, but I'm assuming you cannot stack fish. So I got it all separated in there. Gonna throw her in here for 20 minutes and see what happens. Also, the bright side is if this screws up, we got one piece of fish left. And power. Wabam! 20 minutes. See you back in 20 minutes. So it just beeped. It is ready. It smells so freaking good. That looks nice and crispy. I don't know about the top though. It doesn't look. Oh, it's. It looks done. It doesn't. It doesn't. There's a little tail in here. Let's try this one. Nice and flaky white. That's so good. Can you guys smell it? it smells delicious. Try that. Mmm. Good, right? That's good. All right. We're gonna make some uh, fish wraps with this, these co organic coconut wraps. All right, let's do this. So I put it in a bag so it didn't get all dried out. This is the stuff that I left for sashimi. Okay, so I got a little piece of mackerel. And actually, this is soy sauce and wasabi that I put in a container that I brought on the jet ski with us the other day, but I didn't catch a mackerel. You guys will see that video. Actually, you probably already saw it, and if you didn't, check it out. But here we go. By itself, no bueno. Wasabi and soy sauce. That is where it's at. I'm so bummed that I tried that on the pier yesterday with no soy sauce and wasabi because it tasted like nastiness, but this is super good. Carmen, you want to try it? I know you don't eat raw fish, but you want to try it? Come on. Just a little piece. No. No? Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this uh, episode. We'll see you on the next one.